Yeah. Very All good. Right, so 65 North. Yeah, she was. Um, this color of this mare is liver chestnut. In liver? Calif yeah. Who makes a liver? I don't know that. <laughs> good question. The, um, the mare has got a nice head. She, she has a brighter eye to me than, than colorful bride. Um, and what does that mean? Because I'm noticing that too, the colorful. What, what, she did have a sleepy eye. She had it. like a, she's got more of a, a thick eyelid, eyelash that sort of rolls out that covers up part of her eye. With, with this mare, when her eyes open, you can sort of see the sparkle or, 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 or you know, the reflection in her eye that, ma that makes it more appealing. Um, this mare, her, uh, her neck ties in good. You want a horse's neck to come in like this and then go down. Right here, this is not a flat. This is in and then goes out. California Chrome would have more of that. And I like to see a neck that comes in thin and then, and then comes out. She does all right. Like right this is the Withers. And I like a prominent Withers. And this is the floor of her girth. And that's where the saddle goes around. So she's deep here, which I, I like. Back here in the back, this mare's a little flat in the hip, which I'd like to see maybe a little more slope, which California Chrome will give her that. And she's a little short from where her, the peak of her hip to right here. I'd like to see that a little longer. California Chrome's longer there. So I'm hoping that he's gonna add something to, to that part of the mare. Um, yeah, so you're, when you're breeding, you wanna sort of add. Yeah, you want, you want the, you want the, um, to, to take the stallion strength where your mare's weak and, and vice versa if you can get it just right. Um, the, um, this filly's um, sister was a stakes winner and she produced Nemorilia, which is a filly that was running over here about the time I, I bought this mare and she's a great stakes winner. So that, that, that was helpful. This mare wasn't real expensive. Uh, midshipman isn't. Uh, he was a Breeders' Cup winner, and he's thrown some good horses, but he hadn't thrown really great horses. But he's got the genetics that I think cross good with Chrome, so that's why I was wanting to give get, give it a shot. This right here, this mare's not bad here, but she she's a little maybe soft in her pastern. The horse's leg comes down here, and right here, this is the shock absorber. So when they're running, that, that gives in and makes the landing, and that, that pastern is, is like the shock absorber for the horse. If it's too like long and sloping, it's sprung, and, it, and it's not giving you the, the support you want. And if it's too short and straight up and down, you're pounding instead of having a soft landing. So the angle of that, that angle is pretty good. But every once in a while, I look at her and say, ah, she's a little long on that pastern. But just just a little bit, it's not bad. All right, why don't you give her, a, give her a walk down and back. So this mare is pretty correct. She wants to maybe go in a little bit on the left front and maybe a little out in that knee. She has here what we call a splint. This is where th there's a bone that runs down through here and sometimes it pops out a little bit. A lot of horses can run with those, but it, it, when you're going to buy one, if she was getting ready to run, that would knock her price a little bit. People would prefer not to, not to have that little bump there. But it's not anything that, um, that as a broodmare, that's detrimental at all. She does just fine. We were talking before about game, you know, and 60 just feels game to me. Some, she's got good vibes to me. She's got that sort of spryness to her. Does that mean anything? Or No, I think you're talking more about her, um, her inner ener energy maybe than actual game. I mean, she is, um, she's, She's alert looking, and I think that's part of just what you're seeing there with her eye. 
that her eyes more uh, is a bigger, softer eye and e more easily seen than with uh, than with colorful bride. So she's just like a like a wild card element to her. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I and that's the thing about about a horse is you know you it, it's sort of like a spouse. You know some. Somebody's spouse to them might be the most beautiful, and to two other people, they might they might not be. If everybody was the exact same, then everybody would only bid on one horse, and the rest of them wouldn't get sold. So that's the great thing about horses is, is there's a everybody sees something different in a horse, and um, and so you know the, the, you don't they, they, and all the good ones don't look exactly the same. So it, that's that's what's intrigued man over the centuries about horse racing is it's not an easy thing to figure out and, and not many nobody has it totally figured out and um, and it's a challenge to to beat to even beat the odds. Another thing I would say about this mare that I like the length from the top of her withers to the bottom of her cannon bone it is is long and to her knee. Her cannon bone is, she has a short cannon bone, which that's, that's a sign of, of soundness. Uh, sometimes that bone can be a lot longer and this is the forearm and it's not as long. So when you got a lot of length from here to here, that's where the horse when it's running can reach out like that. So she has that where she lacks is the power behind to really drive. Hind quarter. Yes. But, but Chrome has got that. Yeah, Chrome's got that. And when you walk around behind this mare and you look at up over her hip, um, her hip's st strong and it's not bad, but you'll see some horses that really have a square muscular hip, so it almost looks like the crease going down the middle towards her mane is almost rippled because they have muscle behind and we call that a square hip. And a lot of people like that because it, it's, it's, it's more power from behind. Les, uh, our guru expert who we're, we're featuring some reports from, likes 65. He, he, he goes bananas when he looks at her deep pedigree because he sees the, all these deep crosses and all that stuff. How do you feel about it? Oh, I, I I agree. You know, I, I've learned a lot from Les, and that's sort of, he's sort of uh, the one that has been my mentor in pe pedigrees and learning about pedigrees. And I don't know it, probably a tenth of what he knows. So I, you know, I would always go with with what he thought. He is not a confirmation man. Yeah. He he is a he's a pedigree man. Yeah. So. In the horse business, you have to have both because if, if you get an ugly horse that runs good, it doesn't give you as much time to get out on the horse. If you've got a good looking one that runs good, when it's a weanling or a yearling or a two year old, you can sell it and get pretty good money because the horse looks good. But if it's an ugly one, they don't even know it can run yet and it's got to run and then it's still not as valuable as one that can run good that's good looking. So in, in the, the vote for the People's Horse Mares, we have Colorful Bride and 65 North today. Simona, we're going to take a deeper look at it in a little bit, but a Colorful Bride and 65 North, who would you pick right now? Where's your vote going? My, mine would be uh, Colorful Bride. When, why is that? Really? Just the race record. And... Um, and I think, and I could, I could be wrong, you know, because I like that, I like this cross a lot for sure. But I think, I don't think that um, Colville Bride has a bad cross, and um, it's tough, you know, because what I know that Les really likes doubling up the Seattle Slough, and he doesn't, he wouldn't want to breed something that that on the sire line side of the mare went back to slew, but any place else in the pedigree, he really likes uh, Seattle slew in the pedigree with Chrome. So, uh, you know, I put a lot of credence in that. I'm a 60 guy right now. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a 65 guy. I like, uh, you know, the, the pedigree stuff is interesting. The confirmation is interesting, but I think that she's got the X factor. Mm -hmm. Just the underdog. 
and uh, she really struggled on the track, but, but kept out. You know, won her first race in uh, like her second year of running. Mm-hmm. That could be. Hopefully, both of them will yeah. be battling yeah. out the wire <laughs> for the Preakness or big race. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank Appreciate you, it. You know, um, what I was thinking all the time I was talking, how, t how tough is when you do a video after you've done it to do like a telestrator type thing, like if you focused in on a pedigree and they were looking at the six cross and we took it and we said, here, as we were talking, we circled the things that we were talking about. Motion graphics. Yeah. It's, you know, a couple days and minimum like 1500 thousand mm -hmm. dollars you gotta get it done easy made yeah. minimal. It, 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 to do it well it's expensive yeah. but I, I think that what we're gonna do with the the, the, the graphics is gonna make a poster and kind of create these just do a graphic design and yeah. a still image mm -hmm. but if we wanted to do I mean